right, so today we are going to do an unboxing of the ZapPad. This version is for iOS. Um, I'm going to be demoing it on a MacBook Pro. It will also work for, um, for iPad. So let's go ahead and open it up. So we've got um, a quick start guide. We'll take a look at that here in a minute. Uh, the ZapPad comes in a uh, plastic sleeve, so we'll take off the plastic sleeve. And out of the box, it should be ready to go with batteries and all. So we'll go ahead and turn it on. There's a little red light indicating that, uh, that there's power. And um, I'm gonna open up my Bluetooth preferences. And all, again, all of this is explained in the guide. Um, I'm gonna walk through it. So to connect, um, hold down both buttons. Um, there's gonna be a flashing red light. Uh, Zap pad will appear. I just connected into it. And we should be ready to go. I'm gonna hit end as a test. And that disappeared. I'm gonna click on zoom to make sure I'm there. So we should be good to go. So to start a meeting, um, if you have your Zoom dashboard open, is easy. Um, all you have to do is hit the start button and meeting is good to go. I'm going to get a, and uh, actually what I'm going to do first is just, um, I'm going to go ahead and start recording this from the beginning. Um, a lot of people like to record meetings, so hit the record button and we are instantly recording. I'm gonna share uh, the meeting link and I'm gonna send that to Talia so she can join the meeting. And uh, since we're expecting participants, um, I'm gonna hit the participants key and so we can now see who's joining. There's uh, Talia right there, so we'll let her in. And let's go ahead and invite Andrew. So we'll hit the invite button and there Andrew is, so we'll invite him to the meeting as well. Welcome, Talia. Hi, Kyle. And Andrew should be joining soon. Well, Andrew's joining. Let's pull up our chat window, hit the chat button, and then instantly we're ready to uh, chat or make comments, share links. Looks like Talia just asked. There's Andrew, so let's add Andrew. And it looks like Talia just asked, are we going to watch cat videos today? It just so happens that we are going to watch um, cat videos today. So stand by. This will be an entertaining demo presentation. Andrew, how's it going? Good. Awesome. Uh, so real quick, right now we're in speaker view. So we can see Andrew. Um, if I hit the uh, speaker button, I can quickly see everybody or I can go back to speaker view. This is a feature I, I like because I like to see everybody. Um, we can, uh, we're currently recording. If I wanted to quickly pause whatever it was that was being recorded, I could do that and hit, um, I could hit pause record. So now it's paused, now it's unpaused. Um, there's also the cloud record button, um, but we're just gonna record straight to um, our device. Uh, there's a couple other views worth mentioning. So one will completely um, minimize, oh, well I can't minimize while I'm recording. So let me, uh, let me stop the recording and then um, minimize my screen. So now the screen's minimized. Um, I can pull it back up and I can also maximize my screen or bring it back um, to, uh, to the um, minimized. And let's see if we can, now we're recording again. I think my minimize, so the minimize maximize does work with recording. It's just the um, minimize view that does not work. Um, let's see, the next one, um, screen capture. So we've got all of these beautiful faces, big cats. If we wanted to screen capture those, uh, we could hit the screen capture button, which I'll do once. If I kept doing that, it would just keep screen capturing. So that's super convenient during um, presentations. And on that note, let's, oh, Talia has um, her hand raised there. So um, Talia, do you? Uh, I have a question about the zap pad. Yeah. If you minimize zoom, will the commands still work? Great question. So the commands will still work. Uh, 
And um, as an example, um, I'm going to minimize the screen and then I'm going to click out of Zoom. So now I'm on just a Zoom web page. And if I hit the end button, it's going to close that window. So it's going to use the same, whatever hotkeys work for that, um, that application is what you'll get. Now that I'm back in Zoom, um, it's the Zoom hotkeys that will work. However, Zoom does have uh, global commands and we'll put a link in the description that explains global commands but if global commands are selected then you can be in any application and um, you can use uh, the zap pad um, and it'll only work for the zoom the zoom application awesome. yeah uh, cool so on that note let's uh, let's check out this uh, cat video. So I'm going to share my screen. Click share screen. Uh, I'm going to share the window that I've got that video um, going in and push play. So I'm sharing my screen. We've got the video running. Um, if for some reason, and again, I need to, I need to, I'm currently um, selected on the uh, my Brave um, browser. So I'm going to make sure I'm uh, clicked on Zoom. And if I want to pause what it is I'm sharing, I can do that. I can pause. So I'm still seeing the video play, but all of my participants are seeing a paused screen. And if I unpause, then they're going to they're gonna see wherever I'm at in either my presentation or in this case, um, the cat video. So I'm going to um, click share screen again to s stop sharing, um, quickly pull back up my main window. So I'm not sharing, still recording. Everybody's back um, on here. Um, there's a couple um, other features worth um, talking about. And um, each of these will be listed in the description below with their time, with their time reference. Um, mute all is um, one worth mentioning. So Talia's already muted, Andrew's not, but I can quickly mute everybody on the call by pushing the mute button, um, muting all. Now everybody's muted except me, but I can also quickly mute myself by pushing the mute button. So now I'm muted, but if I still wanted to talk and keep myself muted at the same time, I can push and hold the talk button. So now I'm temporarily unmuted talking, everybody can hear me, and if I let off of that, I'm back to instantly being muted. So that's a, that's a great feature. So it looks like there's a couple chats um, I might have missed, so I'm gonna pull up the chat menu real quick. Andrew, I can't hear you, I can't hear you, I can't hear you. And uh, that's right, I'm muted. So I'm now unmuted. Andrew, can you hear me now? I can. Sweet. I'm going to move the chat window down. All right. Did you have a question? I do. Does ZapPad work on the iPad? Aha. That's a good question. It does work on the iPad. Um, not all of the commands that we've gone through here work. The majority of them do. The major ones work. So again, in the link in the description with the global commands, we'll also include um, a list of the uh, iPad specific commands, um, but it does work on both desktop and um, the tablet for iOS. Awesome. Yeah. Um, cool. So I'm going to mute myself again. Um, and uh, last feature camera that uh, this one everybody loves. You can quickly turn off your camera or back on your camera. And uh, that's the Zap Pad. Um, before we wrap up, any other questions? Then that's a wrap. So on that note, we can hit the end key and we can end the meeting for everyone.